Hi, welcome to the Sterling Scoop, where we talk about all of the fun things you can see, do, and eat in the Sterling area. My name is Julie Bowman, and I'm here with Alyssa, and we're at The Difference Baker. She is the owner and founder and brainchild behind this new bakery, yes, which is allergy-friendly, gluten-free. Tell us all about it. Yeah, so we are, uh, well, we started off being gluten-free, um, and then as we ventured into better understanding what our target market needed, um, it turned into a tree nut free facility. We don't do corn or soy, um, so we eliminated that from our facility. Uh, my son has a peanut allergy, so we eliminated that from our facility. So it's um, been an evolution of allergen friendly ingredients. And now um, we are as limited as we possibly can be. We are always looking to um, enhance the ingredients that we use. Um, the only allergen that we truly use in the majority of our stuff is egg. Um, working on that, right? we don't want to replace it because we love eggs. Yes. We love eggs. <laughs> um, however, um, I'm working with a company right now that takes a lot of pride in their egg replacer. So we'll be playing in the kitchen after the holidays. Oh, fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if somebody comes in, what are some of the things that you would encourage that they try? Like, what's your favorite thing? Mm. Or that people would be like, hmm, what should I try first? Yeah, so being gluten-free um, for a very long time, 12, 13 years, I really can't remember, um, I missed the flour tortilla. And that's something that I tried to develop in my kitchen. And we were very successful with it, but it contained dairy. Um, so I would say that I stand behind my flour tortilla. It's pretty nice. amazing yeah. and it feels just like gluten. It tastes just like gluten. Okay. Um, we make those with our quesadillas. You can come in and enjoy a hot quesadilla. Um, we've got some different meat choices. We use Beyond Meat for our vegetarians. Currently working on a vegan cheese that's not nut based, which is close to impossible. So right. that's another thing we'll be probably creating um, after the new year. And um, we have everything from scones to fresh cookies to our ridiculously good cinnamon rolls. I saw those online. They oh yeah, good. they don't last. <laughs> so we're actually tomorrow, which is kind of exciting. We have all of the staff working on cinnamon rolls for this weekend because oh, wow. we are always selling out. So get here and get here early. Mm -hmm. And Definitely. speaking of weekend hours, you want to tell the folks what your hours of operation are right now? Yeah, so we just expanded. Um, we're going to be open Thursdays from noon to 7 and from Friday mornings from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. and Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Beyond that, we do have hours, but it's for special item pickups. Okay. So. We just launched our um, custom order, which is online on our, on our Facebook page. It's on our website, which is www.thedifferencebaker.com. You can put in a special request on um, quantities larger than a dozen. Um, and also, if you're looking to replace maybe some of the ingredients, there's a custom order option as well, which will go right to my inbox. Okay. And um, I'll be able to work with people who may, you know, have some issues with some of the ingredients that we're currently using. Great, mm -hmm. great. I found her on Facebook. She has a lot of videos out there about the opening and the starting of this, because, you know, it's not hard to start a new business at all. <laughs> not hard at all. Um, but she's very open and honest, and I loved your approach with just telling everybody what it was like to try to get this going and getting your Thank doors you. open. I loved it. Thank you. Um, I appreciate that. Be sure to check it out. I have a lot of friends that are gluten-free. Um, so let's turn it a little bit to a personal question. Sure. What's your favorite thing to do this holiday season? Like, what's a favorite tradition that you have? That I'm a big snuggler, and I love to just chill on the couch because I don't ever do that. <laughs> Anybody who knows me personally knows that that's something that I never do. But Christmas gives me the permission to sit down on the couch and watch some of the sappy movies, um, which I did twice this week. So oh, my, yes, oh, my husband you. and my little guy are very proud of me that I actually sat through a movie. It took me two nights, but I did it, <laughs> which was awesome. So watching, you know, Christmas movies, I love to go see lights. We actually visited Enchant. Oh yes, I've heard we went downtown. Fun. That was awesome. We normally do um, all of the um, the one in right off of Route Seven in Great Falls. Meadowlark. We do Meadowlark yes, every single favorite. year. It's my favorite. Yeah, we do ice every single year. But this year we're not doing that because we've done it so many times. Now they're starting to repeat themselves. <laughs> we're like, okay. 
Awesome. Yeah. Well, listen, thank you so much for doing this with me today. Be sure to check them out. They're right here on Ashburn Road. Um, we'll put all of the information about the website here. And I just wanted to mention, too, you have some delicious cupcakes that I saw. We online. do. So and they're vegan. Them. They're vegan cupcakes. Yes. They yes. have a buttercream frosting that's ridiculous and tastes like cream and milk and butter. I don't know how she does it. That's one of the things that you could pre-order in a few dozen. Yes. Especially with the holidays coming, you have family like with special dietary needs. Yep. Definitely go online and check them out. Please be sure to subscribe, hit that follow button on Facebook, like and comment. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you.